Hi guys, it's Constance with Charming Custom Crafts and um, my prior video is the crayon technique and I said that I would make some cards with it. So here are two cards made from two of the three papers uh, that you saw. You didn't see the Paisley, it'll be a picture on my Facebook site, um, but it's cut out of the paper. And I use um, sugar and spice and I think uh, it's a hoot or a card something other. I'll, I'll put it on the site, but um, see how cute. This is with that same paper that I was working on that y'all saw me in the last video. And I just added a little bit to it. A little glitter glue. Okay. Look how cute. Adorable. So that's one, the little girl. And it says it's a girl. So you can see all the details on that. Okay, and then the boy. And this is just um, ribbon looped behind and then uh, backed with a, another white circle so that it would hold it in double time. And a little glitter glue on the corners. Everything is popped up with two different types of pop dots. That's the thinner and that's the thicker. And I gave this baby a pacifier and I actually had uh, one of those cheap stickers. I just put it up. Let me see. Give me a second. I'll tell you what, what the stickers came from in both. Um, stick up. The, the cheaper ones. The ones that are like a dollar. And what I did is it actually had the, the strings for the bibs. I actually cut it off. And then I put a pacifier in its hand. And again, this is that same paper that I had already showed you that I actually had done. Done with um, the green and the blue. Um, with the melted crayon look and the embossing folder of baby. So, look how pretty. Who says you have to buy ribbons when you can make them? So, when you open this one up, it's Prince Charming. It's adorable. So, this is what you could do with the melted crayon look it, it, technique. It actually will cut with the Cricut. It's it's very cool. It cuts very nicely. I'd say almost better than regular cardstock. It is cardstock. I don't recommend doing the melted crayon on thin uh, uh, scrapping of paper, but if you use the, I use the white cardstock, that way it, it just totally uses <clears throat> the color. But it turns the cardstock into a very unique type of paper and it cuts beautifully. Of course, I have it all on the highest settings, but it cuts so perfect, it's crazy. Uh, but again, I will list I know that this one, the babies are from Sugar and Spice, and I'm pretty sure that's from, what the how? <laughs> the owl on it, I don't know, I'd have to double check, but these are, this part also is from that, um, Prince Charming, and, oh, Prince Charming is from B is from Boy, and, um, Little Princess is from, um, Sugar and Spice. But there's three cartridges used in this, and the little babies are at three. This is actually at three. Both of them are. And then I cut the middle circle at three, believe it or not, but not on real dial size, at normal size without hitting real dial. Otherwise, it'd be like this big. But um, baby cards made with the cutout paper that I made with the melted crayon technique. So, so you know, it does come out beautiful. So I will show you these one more time. Aren't they cute? Well, my kids aren't babies anymore, but you know, people always have babies. So either I sell them or um, I'll use them down the line for somebody who's having a baby. Uh, follow me on my Facebook page, page Charming Custom Crafts. Three words, unlike YouTube is all one word. Um, but follow me on that. Be sure to like because I run little contests and do tips and um, where I find places that are cheap and they're running sales. I'll list it on there. And you'll be the first to know what I'm doing next before I actually put it on YouTube. So um, be sure to um, like me on YouTube and follow me directly. Thanks, guys. Bye.